Hello again, in this video we will append to this data frame another data frame like this one, a dictionary like this one and finally a series like this one. Before going to the code, we already saw the concat function in previous videos, okay? And what's the difference? The concat allow us to concat rows and columns. And the other hand, the append is a shortcut to concat rows, okay? Just rows. And this is important, it can be less efficient compared with concat function. So, let's do the code. As always, we are loading pandas here, here is the path for the files and here we are loading the CSV file, people v2 underscore 1. Going down here, we will do our first example, data frame append another data frame. And this is the second data frame, people v2 underscore 2. Let's do the code and we type data frame is equals to data frame dot append and we pass the data frame 2 is just this. Running this code, we get this result where we have here the second data frame. The indexes are not continuous here. Let's make it continuous. To make it continuous, we just need to provide the ignore underscore index is equals to true. This second parameter running this again, we get now the result with a continuous index. Now let's say that we want to append more than just one data frame. To do that, we just need to pass a list. Let me paste here the code and make this a list. Let's append the data frame to again. So data frame 2. Okay, let's see what this does. And as you can see, we have the second data frame appended two times. Now let's imagine that we want to make sure that the index will not repeat. To do that, we need to provide a parameter that is called verify underscore integrity that is equals to true. Running this, we get this big error because the index repeats. Let's comment these and let's comment these two and go to the second exercise append dictionary and comment this print and this is our dictionary. Here we type data frame is equals to data frame dot append dictionary. Let's see what happens and we got this error where it says that we must use the ignore index equals to true. We go here and we provide ignore underscore index that is equals true. Run this again and now we got here our data frame with Peter and 98. Let's comment this part and comment the print and let's go to the third and last exercise. Append a series. We have here the row that is this series. Let's uncomment this and let's do the code here. And guess what? We just need to type data frame is equals to data frame dot append and we provide the series, the row, okay? Running this, we get again the error where it says that we must use ignore index. We go here and we say that ignore underscore index is equals to true. Running again, now we got our series appended but we got two more columns. These are the indexes of our series. We must converge these with the name and the age. To do that, we can do a trick going here to the series and provide a second parameter. The second parameter is index is equals to data frame dot columns. So with this, we are naming the index zero with name and the index one with age. Okay, running this again. Now we got our series appended to the data frame. And this is the end. You can download the source code. The link is in the description of this video. Please give a like to this video too. It will help a lot. And subscribe if you are not subscribed. And as always, thank you for watching.